Oh, okay. Complete the Pokedex. It, it, of course it couldn't be as simple as go catch one. All right. Oh. Boy, that, I talked, I didn't talk to him. Your Pokemon catching efforts are out there. You're, you're doing stuff. Okay, yeah, I got one female combi. One. Ten or more Pokemon in one spot. Six to... I'm curious. Yeah, okay. That is what it is. Okay. So, um... The male's horn is bigger. At least I think that's the male. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Uh, it's very interesting, yeah. I think Sudowoodles are all male. Yeah, that's male. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting there. No, it's it's a very slow game. It's so slow. It's so it it's so sip the tea only until something happens. Cause the action in this game is so actiony that like you can't just simply sit back and mm, yes, I'm enjoying it. Mm, yes, ah, fun. No, like it it cranks up kind of quick. Ugh. Found her by the scent of my mochi, did you? Of course you did. When have you, when have, uh, when you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat. Remember to be thankful to getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come, when you come for dinner later. But first, don't you owe commando a report? Your meal can wait. Your meal can wait, if you're wondering. Victor Strand. Uh, no. Uh, what's going on? Who the f are you? There you are. You're the one, right? The one that they've all been talking about. The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands. My younger sister Wanda is in the Security Corps, you see. And she went to the Mirelands to... Oh, she went to the Mirelands too. But she never made it back. You managed to track down an Arizu woman in those... In the bo in those boggy Mirelands, right? So you could find my sister Wanda too. What'd she smell like? What? Oh. You mean so you can search by her scent? Well, maybe her kerchief she usually carries could be of some use. I'm counting on you. Please, find Wanda wherever in wherever in the Mirelands she ended up. Gone astray. In the Mirelands. Right. That's going to keep happening. Seems like I can never remember what it's for. There's a downstairs? What's downstairs? Victor Strat. Ugh, why can't you be on the first floor? Like, don't you get tired of walking up these steps every day? So you successfully calmed the Lilligan. Mmm. Excellent. 
There may be time, there may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon. But it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in time and space time. Then frenzies are, intru are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning. Isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond imputing. Mr. Commander Guy, I'm, I'm, I'm running in suddenly. Listen to me talk now. Ugh. There you go. Piping hot potato mochi. Fresh from the stove. Now. Now, this is the life, right? Enjoying pota tasty potato mochi with friends. Sharing the latest findings. Mm, from my Pokemon. Findings from my Pokemon research. And topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere with our research or with carving out a life here? Hmm? Uh, well. Here's a flashy new recipe to try. It's for an item that should keep, that could help scatter these gloomy thoughts. You obtain the recipe for the scatter bangs. What does this do? A recipe for crafting scatter bangs from scratch. That did not tell me what it did. Calm, calm now. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry yourself, son, my girl. I try not to yell and eat at the same time. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself, and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. Nee, 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 nee. Scatter pops. I can only imagine this is just designed to spook Pokemon away. Morning, sleepyhead. They ain't woke up yet. You'll never guess what. I'm gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop. <laughs> now you'll be able to try out my uh, try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that exciting? I wear a hat. Oh, I'm still gonna be Logan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't you worry. What's it gonna? Aha! Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I am pleased that you found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Edith! M Mr. Commando, sir. Uh, so about the whole Earth uh, situation. If you are if you are to work here in Jubilee Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Arizu. Ugh. And you you will come with me. To Prelude Beach. Is that where we did the baba? Is that where we did the stuff from the first thing? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. These people have just arrived here in history. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. Uh, when we, when we, when we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. You have nosy snots. We've heard that, his sweet, that the sweet region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. Indeed, you've heard both correctly. Both heard correctly. I thought it was one person talking. And the reason such tales I reach your ears it's largely in part to this one here, one of our survey corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of all our 
with all our team members. Let us continue to keep to develop our village. Because I can't read. I thrive here in the history region. Uh, we look forward to doing our part, Commander. Do you? Yes, I do. I'm going to do my part, to do your part, and do their part. And maybe even her part, if you'll let me. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the survey courses, expanded the areas we can operate safely. And that is what allows us to welcome newcomers like them. Oh my god, I can't stop yawning. You truly love Pokemon, don't you? I don't, but, you know. <clears throat> Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. <clears throat> Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all about learn all that we can about them whether we wish to live alongside them or not then be warned as the leader of the galaxy team i am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect jubilee village i'll kill them well, commander idra from from the pearl clans arrived good i believe i know what she's here about as for you you should see yourself. You should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Will I? Or will I? You sure? Mm. This is where I fell from the sky. I was all like, Mwah. No, I cannot. Who, 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 this? who are you? Mercy, what a treasure this wide open land is. I'm glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. My dad will stay quiet and empty for long. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that weird feeling of, um,. Oh, like, uh, when, I wouldn't necessarily call it a weird feeling. Practice field is just called practice field. Um, doesn't seem to be anything else out here. It's just nothing. But like on Christmas, um, like if you were anything like me and you were spoiled as a child, you know, you get... It's midnight on Christmas hit. You get to, like, open one gift. God, well, um... It always was weird to me, like, uh, not weird, but there's this thing. Like, you on Christmas, you get... Like, if you play video games, you usually get a new game. At least one. So. Then you stay up all night playing it until the point you're super sleepy. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing believing it unless I see a different size ones lined up side by side. If there really are Weasel bigger than mine, I'd like to see them alongside the one I have, for comparison's sake. Yeah. And if you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, I'm sure you'll be... You see where I'm going with this. Catch one bigger than mine, would you, and let me have it. Okay. On the bottom of that. Whenever I see Prelude Beach, I'm like, hey, I came here on that beach. Uh, how amazing. You want a Pokemon partner too? Waka. So, hey, sir, hey. Um. Super brave. Nope. Well, I mean, I guess it's also important, but you have to have a Pokemon pocket. Up. Both of them were wrong. Uh-huh. I really want to catch a Pokemon of my own someday, so I have 
Run balls to get my aim spot on. Now I think I'm probably going to throw Pokeballs. I bet you have a load of them since. Do you think you can give me like five of your Pokeballs, please? Oh. Mercy. Now I can catch a part of the Pokemon of my own. Here's a reward just for you. Some dirt, some grit dust. Super hard to collect. I hope you like it. Mm, you want to know? Okay. Is that an egg? No, it's a silicone. Yeah, like uh, like these are the Pokemon I've been out there catching. Like there's two Rhyhorn out here, a Ghastly. God, I hate that. That Ghastly is upsetting. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Uh, you know, you remind me somehow of my grandmother. I'm a man. She always, uh, she was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel the same word from you as if you could become true friends with the Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope uh, you saw me sometimes. All right. Measuring your compatibility. Compatibility. Some Pokemon come out of here tonight. Hmm? Hey, listen to this. I saw something out in the wild. It was incredible. The thing I saw was a will-o'-the-wisp, a ball of red, bright red fire. When I was walking, when I was, when I was walking on windswept run the other night, it leapt at me like, woo! At it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. You shut up! <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes, I'm not making it up. I saw a will of the wisp with my own two eyes. Oh, yeah, then why don't you show it to me, huh? Good luck with that. Are you. Fuck off. It's so frustrating, he won't believe me. I honestly did see one. Say, you're with the survey course, right? And I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could easily catch a will of the wisp. Do you think you could catch one? Catch the one I saw and bring it back here specifically? God. Cunt. Ugh. Be serious. <laughs> you interested in some target practice? All you got to do is lob some balls and try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy, fun and breezy. Uh, even got some fine prizes lined up. If you manage to break a thousand points, you'll be in for a real treat. I'll tell you that. If you're up for the challenge, you'll just let me know. I'm usually found in the practice field. Okay. So now, now he disappears. Great. We will do that at some point. Oh, you're the boy from the survey course, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Could I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make some medicine. The plant I'm after has three leaves and a bitter taste. It's enough to make you dizzy, but already beat you to it. Unfortunately, I don't know where it grows. I'm asking an Anais <laughs> from the medical course. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. Ugh. You're annoying. The young sprouts can't hold account of me, but I leave battling for the noble Pokemon like okay. okay. If you're curious, I'm trying to see if I can bump into the person that knows how to make the uh do the stuff for the uh side ups that have headaches. Hmm. Oh, hello. Here in the village fields, you can have crops grown for you in exchange for a fee. 
here to grow some crops. Are you? No way. No way to tell how the yield will be, but we'll give it our all. What kind of crops are you interested? Uh, medicinal. Yeah, sure. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. I'm working to make these fields even bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow, so I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields, more food, everyone's happy. What you need? Mm-hmm. A ground-type Pokemon, I can borrow it. Okay. Ugh. Son of a bitch. I would like to point out that I thought these things were only going to be out at night. Which personally was more annoying to me than anything else. I sincerely thought they would only be available at night. I don't know why I thought that. I don't think she said that. There are five more wisps in this area. Okay. Listen here. Listen here, Survey Corps kid. I saw the darndest thing. I was scouring the heart the heartwood for crops we could grow in the fields. This Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance for my very eyes. It was in the evening, the light was getting dim, and all of a sudden Cherim's petals closed right up so it looked so it looked like nothing but a little flower bud. Wow, I witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning when I went to check on it, it was right back to full bloom. But why but why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? So it was the change I saw something different. Finish the Pokedex and let me know. Gotcha. If you had a Pokemon pal, you'd feel safer. Why? It... Of course, this can't. Why I came back here? Talk to her to learn some moves. What's up? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here at some point. Sells various protective charms come in handy when you're exploring the fields. Uh, hmm. And you. Hmm. Mysterious charms that holds the power to protect a person from fainting while out in the field. This type of charm comes in five different colors. No. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's completely possible that she told us that there was some like in this area and I just didn't listen. Yeah, just hang it like bleh. if I were watching this, well, I probably wouldn't be watching the channel that only had like one person doing the all right so they're not going to be in these which is very fortunate
How very fortuitous. Ugh. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Mm. Obviously, I'm guessing, but it's possible that the uh, the rest of them aren't out near. Oh. Yeah, it's possible that the rest of them are out uh, near the practice field. Where are we at? 25 minutes of doing absolutely jack shite. in all the areas like when you're you know the, the whole collectible thing when you get to that one last collectible or like out of like 600 you have five left and like it becomes incredibly impossible to find okay it becomes crazy impossible to find the last one Because then you end up having to go back and forth over and over all the places you've already been. Let me say, this is where I found that the last one I found. Ugh. It's also kind of interesting that like because the wisps don't show up when you're far away from them it makes it a little bit harder to find them because you can't just like stand somewhere survey the land and then hope for the best. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn. <sighs> Shit sticks. All right, well, the thing we've waited the entire episode to do.
so the doors at the end of the hallways are just to, uh, the paths at the end of the hallways just to make the building look less empty all right I commend you on your successful reach of the Pokemon living, research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders will begin to survey the Cobalt Coastlands. Coastlands! Uh, I will let you know in advance, there are no Pokemon nobles in the co Cobalt Coastlands. What does that mean? Oh, allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. I shot him. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange shadowy figures on the Isle of the Lord use the on the island the Lord used to call his home. We've had we've also we have also we have also received word from both the security corps and supply corps that some of their members were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials for materials around Fire Pit Island. Well I think they said Fire Pit Island. These are serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate this desecration of our lord's, late lord's seat. Normally, I didn't trust this to our warden in the coastlands, but our situation is complicated. I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. Uh, I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm school. I'm sorry. Think nothing of it. He's a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he will sort things out. And if he doesn't, we'll kick him. Uh, indeed, quelled, uh, he quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen his, his both. Uh, I've seen his both his strength and kindness firsthand. Yes, I'm a great fella. The next area, yeah, you just told me. Further afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much further, and the path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of bravering, braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your missions, yeah. All right. Oh. Well, that's the episode. Um, a rather upsetting that I'm definitely not going to be able to... Uh, well, I wouldn't say definitely, but I'm likely not going to find that other wisp before the episode ends. Damn. It was about 35 minutes already. Shit. I mean, with 35 minutes, I'll I'll probably just run it a little longer and just see if I can find the... Oh, hello. That didn't take long at all. Ah, oh, what a remarkable tale it was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it. But, mm, it was not with its tail poking out. Mm-hmm. fuck are you talking about? Think you can catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? His tail was elegant and squirrely like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it. I'll give you a nice reward.
if I'm guessing. He could be talking about Sproink. Yeah, he could be talking about Sproink, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. Oh, he can go inside these places. This might be where we find the, the person who knows how to fix the, the headaches of the Psyducks. No, this is just where we'll start the next episode. It's gonna suck. It's gonna. It sucks that I can't fucking find it. It super sucks that I I just I couldn't find it. God damn it. Fuck. Mm. All right, get up. 